Welcome to a video from the TeslaLifeTile.com. Got a new build video to look at. Um, this is build 14998, but it's a bit of a strange one. It's not an official build from Microsoft because they haven't publicly uh, announced this build. It's essentially Microsoft accidentally po published it. I'll turn it back on. Um, they accidentally posted it. It came down as a localization um, update. It was a localization for English, I think. It was a big update, it took quite a while to install, so somehow something's got messed up with the with the staging. Maybe Microsoft do mean to release it and they'll publish um, they'll publish some of the details of it later today. But as of yet with no details at all of what's changed in it. I've had a look around and I have spotted a couple of things. So this is 14998 and in case anybody doesn't believe me, I forgot a system and about um so not that. Um, there you can see 14998. So what's new in this build? Well, like I said, I've had a look around and I couldn't see a huge amount of differences. What has been helpful is I have got an older uh, Lumia uh, 1520 running a slightly older build as well. And the one thing it is new, as you see on here, just go back side by side, sorry if the ref light's reflecting a bit on there in dark mode. Um, you'll see there there's the apps section there um, between personalization and account, and that's not on this one. If we go into apps, so I'll put it back into light, so I'll put it into light mode, it's a bit easy to see on the camera. Okay, so this is new, that's not on this older build, and this older build is um, where we are on here, it's 14965. So I go to apps and there you can see I've got the option for apps features, offline maps and apps websites. Those two, I've seen those before. Um, if I search on the old one, there is no apps as such um, section at all. So I think it's actually a new section as well as it being on its own menu. There isn't an apps section as I've seen. And when we go into this, one of the new options is to repair apps. So if I look at an app, and I'll like this one, you've got the option of move it to an SD card. Uh, some apps let me do that, and some don't. So see this third-party BBC Store apps, I can move it, and I can move it to the SD card. I can install it, but what is more useful, and particularly uh, when you're testing builds, and I found this with, say, built-in app like uh, Outlook, uh, for the mail and news, or the mail and news one, as it's called by Microsoft, is you can um, repair it. So if we go to advanced options, there's the store. No, you can't uninstall the store app, obviously. Um, if you did, you'd never get it back on again, would you? So in the past, if, the, if you had a problem with the store, the only way is really to, is to reset the phone. But now you can actually reset that. Um, so that's a nice feature. So the PC version of Windows 10 has had that for a while and it fixes things. So you've got, so you got a problem with this app, you could uninstall and reinstall it, but instead you can reset it and, uh, okay, it doesn't work. So maybe that hasn't been implemented yet. And so this is a potentially incomplete build as well. Let's try it on um, a third party app, one I never use. Okay, so that potentially is going to is going to work. I think what it does is is um, deletes it and reinstalls it. Essentially, okay, that's worked on there. So it didn't work on that built-in app, but it works on the third-party ones. I think the third the, the built-in ones are the ones that have had problems in the past, like Outlook or Mail and Calendar, as I said before. So that's new. Other than that, I haven't picked out a whole load of uh, changes compared to uh, previous. Compared to previous builds, really, it's I've been to uh, let's have a look Microsoft Edge, and this is in light mode now, so it does look slightly different. But the options seem to be the same. I haven't been it through it option by option, to be honest. Uh, snooze option is gone, is it? Yes, the snooze option is gone. So we've seen. Uh, a couple of things review, removed. I think that's because the snooze option was allowed you to sort of put that tab away and bring it back later. And in Windows, in the new PC build 5002, there's a new uh, 
put away feature in, in Microsoft Edge so maybe this build or the future builds are going to get that feature as well and there's no tab management as such like you know, tab preview as you, as you had on the other one I suppose that's the closest you get to the, which is similar to the, to the PC version anyway so those are the main changes that I've spotted so far um, if there is a potential that this will by installing this build I've messed up this phone now uh, it won't receive the correct bill when it comes down. So, worst case really is just do. I can do the reset with the you know, Windows Recovery tool, plug it into a PC. I, I don't really. This is not my full-time data driver anymore, so it's not too much of a problem for me. Anyway, that's a quick look at it. If you uh, spot any changes, um, let me know. Ian at digitallifestyle.com at iStixon on Twitter. Um, if you see this advertising on your phone, I'd probably and, you, and your phone is important to you I would skip that little uh, update or that 7 gig update and wait for the official build unless Microsoft publishes the release notes and, and say this is fine to install. So uh, more videos on our YouTube channel.